<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we went to Romani Grant, saved the day, feed the ghosts, stopped the uh, uh, evil, got a pona, blew up a rock, lost our money gambling. Uh, should I say more? I should not. In this episode, we're going to the beach. Yeah, we're going to the beach. That's brilliant seduction. There. Is that a barrel? Okay, that that telescope right there. Does does that look like a sniper? A really big one in the background. Ugh, that barrel. Hey, anyway, let's go. It's actually interesting. The only beach in Zelda that's not Wait, once again. Um, Link's Awakening. Well, I believe there might be one in North Coast Cities in ages, but besides that, there's no any beaches in Zelda. So, hmm, relations to Link's Awakening again. Very interesting. Anyway, so first time to the Great Bay, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Environment this reminds me. I haven't put my son on yet. <laughs> Don't want to just do this and then can't do anything about it. It's, help. it's terrible. I need a slow dame. I can do it all in one try. Come on, opponent. Let me on. Yeah, don't slap this before you go to the jump. You have to give some leeway. We, 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 be. Why is it towel on the beach? This does not make any sense. Are you away? Get away. Oh, a flock of seagulls are enemy a dead corpse. Sounds like a good idea to go check out. Anyway, big beach area. Not, not much we can do about it. This wound is still pretty slow. Uh, somebody! Please get uh, get me to show show him, buddy. How do you want me to do this? Do you want me to lock on and then grab onto you? Maybe you want me to grab onto you from the front? No, he wants me to grab onto him from the behind. That's not what I'm doing, like, that's not a very good idea to do in seawater. We got scoot over. We don't have Asian because this program is so bad for it. Push, push, push. Kick, kick, kick. So you guys still following you? And they are. I'm in the way. Don't What's, what's with everyone walking free me in this game? Well, it seems okay now. I guess we can just leave him on the beach. Maybe he earned those towels. So, it's Zora's. Can't really trust them. They're always deceiving in some way or another. Oh, we took a step end. Uh, we're gonna have to do something here, aren't we? So. Do you need a potion or something? Uh, I'm Mikael of the Zoro people, guitarist in the Zoro band. Oh yeah, I heard about you. You know, Gorman's very upset. I think you're the cause of it. I think this is it for me. My final message, I don't care you hurt Gorman's feelings. You hurt Gorman's feelings, you hurt my feelings. Will you listen to me? I won't listen, nope. Girl, my eyes, everything all hazy. Soon I'll be just another wave in the ocean. Distant to disappear. Uh, poetry. Found my weakness. What? Where did you get that guitar?
At least that rhymed. What are the Karudos doing here? Uh, can you repeat that? Could, could you repeat that song? It was so good. I, I need to hear it again. So she'll go on up. Uh, how's that song go again? Hmm. Do you remember how the song here was played? Sorry. I was, I was trying to think what was sorry or something backwards. Anyway, we know what's happening now. Like every time we play the Son of Healing, something good always happens then. McCall, you're not. McCall, you, you're not in the ocean. I dragged you out, remember? Don't have to float in water in open space. How are you doing that, by the way? Oh, there's Lulu, the folkler still talking about. Is that supposed to be a bass guitar then? I don't know, get it. Or maybe there's two guitarists, or is, this, is that a bass guitar? I can't tell. And he plays it so badly. Then we get to see his body disappear. And that mask disappears out of nowhere. So, good time for everyone. And with that, we get my favorite transformation. The Zora Transformation Mask. It is also named the Zora Mask. The legendary guitar is my ass. Oh, actually, a lot of people know him. Whoa, what the? You brought your guitar into the afterlife. That's impressive. Okay, I guess you get the term legendary, and I'll make your grave too, because I don't want to be cursed. Did we put Deku Knight or was that coming out of that tree? I can't tell. My due respects isn't that fond of this guitarist. Just because I don't really like him. Anyway, if you see that tree there, I just noticed in the cutscene. Let me. I hate. I hate this. Come on. Come on. Okay, it's just there for what it looks, I guess. With butterflies over here. So you're probably wondering, what do we do now? Well, we're supposed to fulfill his last wish, so I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. Let's put Zora mask on and transform. Eh. Let's do this. All right, while playing Zora, he's swimming really fast, and he can also use magic as a shield bearer in water. Very helpful. Also like like seem to be water based creatures due to this game's love of them. I wouldn't put past it. I mean if you saw something in the water you wouldn't be able to say like like you wouldn't be able to say anything because the water will just be you, your mouth will be a vacuum. It'll be empty space where the water has to be filled. It's like space itself. Anyway. Delays what those saw doing Hmm, what is it, boy? She was coming to watch the eggs hatch. I'm excited about it too, but those important eggs haven't arrived yet. It's about one of the one to three days from Zora eggs away from the hatch. But if they aren't kept in this aquarium until then, they may die. The reason for this is that the recent abnormal weather has caused the ocean temperatures to rise in this region. Sora eggs are very sensitive to changes in temperatures, or temperature. The only way the eggs can hatch is if they're placed in this aquarium water, which I set aside for them long ago. The Zoras are well aware of this, but they're still late. I wonder if something has happened in Zora Hall. 
So I guess with all these chemicals and this butcher knife, this is quite the scientist. So the too many ochrocks. I like the piranhas, yeah. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, so this is where they kept. Because they're the, obviously the favourite since they have the most intelligence. So I guess we're going to have to go and um, look for this opening to the Zora's place, which I'm guessing it's over that way. Let's go. But we can't seem to go that way. So let's go this way instead. Wait. But no more, it's just better to be Link. Uh, if we go over here, we'll find that there's actually um, a mini game we can play right here. I believe we need Ruby, there's no really point. But we're gonna talk to him anyway as Mikhail. The thing you all used to do, you mean break all the balls at once? In one strike? Mmm, the waterfall, huh? Actually, I will break these all in one turn, because I'm going to show you guys how awesome I am. This time will actually teach you how to use Mikhail's moves, or maybe it's just a sort of game. Don't be reckless. Oh, I've got one ruby, so I've got enough money to be reckless. Take this! Well, we're running away. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. But I will keep trying to entertain you. Oh, but I'm gonna be in trouble. About that, I'm gonna keep breaking them. So I gotta get this. Oh, I'm doing worse. Uh, I'll fall until I get this, because I'm gonna get on this try, so that's why I'm saying it now. Let's watch this. Oh man. Oh, wait, look cool. Tired of the tiger. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh. Why do they fly out like that? It seems like I have to be close. Like this close. Yeah, that was my worst attempt. Okay, here. Yeah. Breaking one. That's done. Uh, almost. It wouldn't be a bit closer, would it? I can do this. I'm putting him broke. Wait, break. Oh, come on! I so had it that time. Okay, it was just a bit off. So, there. Aha! And there's an easy 90 rubies right there. <laughs> easy my ass though. So that's a good way to earn money if you know how to do it. It's like how it goes. Well, you won the game. Here's the money. But I'm going to have to deduct some of it due to you actually breaking my butts. You should deduct it from every time I played and it would have been exactly I had to still pay him or something. Anyway, whoop. 
God damn it. Yeah. And we are here at whatever this place is called, I can't remember. Ah, uh, Soroho, that's right. Nice secluded area. It's cheese shells by the seashore. And Lozoros. So the concert's still on apparently? Hmm, interesting. So what's in here? You're not helping to... Well... Uh... Yeah, sure. Hmm, I see. Well, I'll pull out my guitar, which you cannot see, and just shake it about in response to what you said. So apparently there's some kind of distress going on in the actual temple, and due to that, it's affecting Lulu. So let's just go if everyone talk to him, say what's up. If you listen carefully to what he's playing... Yep. If you can hear that, he's actually trying to play the Zelda 1 dungeon theme. Uh, this guy's awesome actually, now I think about it, since he can do that. I also have my guitar. Oh, are you no know, slow? You know, there we go. So we actually have to find out what he's playing in order to get this stuff done. So I'm not sure if I'll come back here near end game where I've c and where I'm going to go back and collect everything I've missed. Due to the fact that uh, time this, this whole section of the game usually takes a lot of time. And now if you guys wanted to see me um, do this instead of doing the main stuff. Oh, okay. I should probably be in a Sora for that. I was going to visit everyone. <laughs> this guy's actually playing um, the game over theme for Zelda 1. Ugh, and he looks hideous. No, I'm sorry. him playing the game over theme which is appropriate to his situation. It's game over man, game over! I need to watch fucking guys from aliens. Oh, what are you up to? What are you doing with my door? Oh, you're busy huh? I can see you're, you're washing your hands on my door. Okay. 
as you can see, this is Lulu's room, the center, which is right here. There's also the impossible to get hot piece here. To get it, we actually have to do something for this Deku, which is going to be part of the great Deku quest I've mentioned several, several times. Actually, let's check this shit here. Same thing. So apparently, Lulu didn't want Mikkel to actually get involved in her problems. And how it is, she doesn't want him to do anything to Rash. What actually happened and why pretty much Mikkel was in the middle of this ocean was because it didn't go over well enough or I didn't show it well enough was because of. He got defeated by the Gerudo. Pirates. What? Yes, yeah, so. Because of that, he failed and was left there to die. The swimming control supposed to be good. There we go. Now, I know exactly where the pirate base is, so I'm gonna head there now. Out of my way. Getting a skellfish. That's how you swim. Twirl. So I mean twirl and boom. So our place to go next is actually this way. Uh why well, you'll be able to get everything in this game. Uh yes. i I would try to just to let you guys know. I'm gonna try hundred percent this game because I have done it before, unlike a period of time I haven't got all the sculptures before. There's everything else except that. But in this game, since there's no sculptures besides actually two places where you can find sculptures, it's you know, gold sculpture. It's okay. Anyway, as we see up there, there's actually maybe I can shoot with my my retractable so we'll see if we can hit him. Nope, way too far. And I don't have any arrows, perfect. I'll come back then. We're in the map anyway. I don't know where I'm going. So what we want to do is come over this end. Ignore the like like, because he's not... Actually, don't ignore this like like. This like like is a, is a big like like. What are you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? My shield! You sir have wounded me. You're not getting away with my shield. Give me my shield back. Yeah, my shield. I, I can't reach it. Are you joking? Give me my shield. There we go. I got the hero shield, which you won't actually be able to get that any other way, except why I just did. Or if you got stolen by a crow. So, what we want to do is go this way. And I believe that guy always has 20 rubies, so. And you want to go for this one right here. You want to go for this one right here. And this one will lead us the way. But unfortunately, we still have a minor problem being here. If we get spotted for one, they will throw us out. Our second problem is we we don't really have anything that can help in this situation. And we don't have any arrows either. It's all the better. So, oh. If I can't actually, there's actually a way where you can do this without seeing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, 
Ruth, I can't really do it though because I forgot to go get it. So we gotta ignore it. We're on hand, it's we'll be fine. Do everything I show you to do and you, you too become can become a master at hiding. Oh. <coughs> ah, what's wrong with me? Fritz saw. <laughs> yeah, hey ball. Let's go. Now. Yeah, my way. Where is that? Over here it is. Twirl towards it. Ah, damn it. I'm about to do some drastic weather heroes here. I gotta get this in case. So yeah, so shield buttons to get the shield out when you're surfacing the water. Drop it in. How can someone drop it in this kind of environment? And why? That's another good question. Why would they do it? <coughs> oh, damn my throat! Ugh. Jeez, it's terrible. Yeah. Okay, they're explosive. I know that. I'm getting near them. Also, they won't get out the vents. They're trying not to get hit by that. Once we get to this area, we have more problems. Well, lucky for us, they're not very smart. Mostly because their lead is dead and, well, still bad. Well, that's a good heart piece shot. How we get in there? I believe there's a switch near the top that gets into that room. And with the bunny hood should be easy, so let's go look it out. I think it's up here. Yeah, here it is. So let's just do that and blame and run. Uh, a bit better next time. A bit more feeling. Uh, this time we got the damn thing in the way. Yeah, that was a smart choice. Why didn't I think of doing that? Uh, the bunny hood should be fine. Yep, easy. Don't worry about getting locked in here. they smart enough to put a switch in the jail cell. And we need some arrow, so good thing we got that. What else we need to do here? Nothing in particular. Is there really nothing in particular I can do? Oh, well, here goes a switch over here. That's something we can do. I left the mark in the air there. <laughs> okay. Should we just give it to Goron? Oh my. Never mind. Don't go missing. Goron's can't swim, Deku's can't swim, Link can barely swim, and then we've got the Zora who can definitely swim. Oh, I love that send off there. See that insane speed we got? Anyway, we can just pull up over this one slowly, and then go full forward. Oh, listen, it's only 2 o'clock. 
there's a switch in here, I believe. Oh, fantastic. There's a switch here. Something that's gonna annoy me in a couple of seconds while I'm about to shoot it, I'm guessing. Oh. Oh. Can I swim up the jet stream? No, I can't defy gravity. Such a shame. Go down already. Go down. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's do it right this time. There we go. And up we go. I believe there's actually something we can get up here. Okay, we want to get to that. Yep. Well, let's go a ladder. I just wanted to get gather my surroundings, you know. And what's through here? I'm too short. But I'll still use it somehow. Especially to look there, I'm hoping that makes sense. Okay. Uh, see, that's where we have to go. Right there. Follow this pathway. I don't think anyone knows this cutscene exists. So, it's gonna be problematic. Especially with that guard there. I was actually able to do this once without knocking any guards out. Uh, a blessing. It was impressive. Trust me. Alright, we'll use Mikhail for this. It's gonna be easier to make those explode. And then we can fire at it. Let's go. Let's have rolled. Okay. Now outside here, just gonna make sure we get a certain item before everything turns to shit. Because if we don't, there's gonna be a lot of shit. Emphasis on the shit. How are we gonna get through all these armed guards? With bows and arrows! Knock you up when I get <laughs> knock you up. Okay. Let's go. Oh jeez. Jeez, how quick is she? Oh crap. Everything went to shit. It's like I expected it to. Okay, we're gonna actually have to do this quickly apparently. So what we wanna do is knock her out. Fantastic. You're a natural link. Crap, don't turn around. So lucky. Now, I want to climb the ladder fully upon the point where she has a back turned. And after that, I'll shoot her. And then we should be okay. As long as they don't have a looking up animation. Because if they have a looking up or down animation, I may be in trouble. Oh, come on, don't patrol. Don't do your job effectively, come on. I have a chance to run past her, but then we'll have to do a lot of stuff to get back here, so I'll just rather make you watch this scene. Don't mess with the bunny, or else you'll get the arrow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank God for that. Okay, let's just what? Wait, what? No. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Scared me for a second there. Hello, B. Good dodge, by the way, Tattle. What do you say? Uh, honey. Oh. 
I wish I had four bottles. Strange masked one. Skull kid. Cause he's behind this. Now this is not. Mm, I don't want to come in Bizarro. We come in Bizarro. That's a nice. That's a nice word. Anyway, what we want to do is see us shoot the beehive that's inside a building. We well, come on. The greatest warriors in in Hyrule are not so good in Terminal. Scared of bees? What is this? Some arrows there. Just uh, make sure you understand the concept of why there's a beehive. Anyway, we want to go down now. It's because it's clear. And in here, we can actually. This is just looking hollow in case you want to go fight them all yourself and lose. But in this chest, we get. An item that's everyone's favorite in the Zelda series. The hook shots. Or the hook shots. It's a bit different in this game. Just the fact it's golden. So we're gonna be using the hook shot to get up there. And we got a fall. And we're gonna have bottles. I wish we had one more bottle. If we had one more bottle, this would be fantastic. Because then we could have just gone all in one scope. Nope. Have to come back again. Yeah, so we actually have to go get the pearls that I uh, well, eggs. Actually eggs. And we're gonna pair the squish them in bottles. And we wanna make sure we get them Uh I'll show you in the episode here, so thank you guys for watching, I'm in the chair, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.